Hi, my name's Mackenzie, and today I'm going to walk you through how to brew a fun and easy brewing method, the AeroPress. What I love about the AeroPress is it's really quick, it's an easy cleanup, and it makes just a single cup of coffee, about eight ounces. For your grind setting, use a medium paper filter grind. It should be about the coarseness of sea salt. I'm going to show you the inverted method. First take your plunger and insert it until it's to the top of the four circle inside the brew chamber. We're going to add a heaping scoop of ground coffee to the AeroPress chamber. Now we're going to take our hot water and we're going to pour until it reaches the top of the three circle. Now we're going to wait about 30 seconds for the coffee to extract. After 30 seconds, take the stirring paddle and give the coffee a gentle three stirs. Fill the AeroPress chamber with hot water to the very top. Now let's put on our filter cap and make sure it's screwed on tightly. After this, you want to wait another minute and 30 seconds. After a total brew time of two minutes, you're going to take your cup and place it on top of the AeroPress. Holding both the brew chamber and the plunge at the same time, flip the AeroPress so it is sitting on top of the cup. Plunge the coffee carefully and gently until you've pushed all the coffee out of the brew chamber. And there you have it a new single cup brewing method that you can try at home. We had to make a great brew with the Delta Coffee Press. First up, you'll need some fresh coffee. Today we're going to use 12 grams of beans, which works out to be two scoops with the Delta Dose tool. Grind your beans to a medium fine coarseness. You want to be somewhere finer than a French press, but coarser than espresso. Once your grounds are done, you're good to go. Start by choosing your cup, then place a filter into the cap and rinse that out. Make sure the plunger is fully inserted into the brew chamber. Just press it gently until it reaches the bottom. Then flip over and add your coffee. It's important to note that you add the coffee to the coffee chamber and not the cap, otherwise the cap will not screw on correctly. Make sure you continue to turn until it is firmly tight. Tip out the rinse water from your cup and now you can flip over the delta and start brewing. Use any kettle you like with water around 95 degrees Celsius or just off the boil is fine. We're going to fill to the 200 mil line and then next you're going to hold the cap down and raise the plunger gently until the water level reaches 50 mil. Then we're going to press that down to start the coffee extraction. The injection process gives you full control over the water volume and the time of contact between the water and coffee grounds. A gentle press will give you better results as agitation is reduced and the dwell time between water and coffee is increased. After the first infusion, raise the plunger up to the 100 mil line and then press that down. At this point in time, you can add the dose tool and actually use that as a lid, which helps to keep the temperature in the brew chamber stable. Finally, raise the plunger once more to the 100 mil line this time you should notice there's a little bit of an air gap above the water, which you can also press through the coffee grounds to slightly increase. Delta, for example, we could have used 24 grams of coffee in the coffee chamber. And then at the end of the plunge, we could have refilled the chamber for a total of 400 mils. So it's very easy to get double batch servings. Uh, and then of course you can also experiment with all the pre-infusion and volumetric control of each plunge. To clean the delta at the end, very simple. All you need to do is plunge some air through the coffee grounds. Do this a couple of times as that helps to get any moisture that's left in the coffee into the cup. So we're gonna plunge through some air two times and then at this point in time, you simply twist off the cap at the bottom and the grounds are now a lot drier, so we can just eject that out as well. 
uh, and then rinse any other grounds that are left over in the sink and you're good to go. We hope you have fun brewing with the Delta. Of course, if you have any other questions, just shoot us an email at any time. We'll be glad to help. Cheers, guys. Kopi, ngopi, dalam sekali klik.